Hello, my name is Gary Malkowski, and it's time for municipal elections, as well as school board elections. Those elections will be happening on October the 27th, 2014. That's a Monday, October 27th. Everyone who is 18 years of age or older can vote in the municipal elections, which include voting for mayor, city and municipal councillors, as well as school board trustees. Do you know your rights related to voting? Elections in Ontario throughout the province require accessibility. Voting stations must be accessible. If you go to a candidate's meeting, or you want to meet a candidate who's running in a municipal election or meet with a school board trustee. Access is required. We've made progress in advocating for access around the democratic process for deaf, hard of hearing, deafened and oral deaf people. We have made progress, but there is still work to do. Often, people are faced with barriers when trying to meet with candidates or access debates because the accommodation is not provided. Accommodations like ASL English interpreters and captioning, they're not provided. It's important for deaf, hard of hearing, deafened, and oral deaf people to have full and equal access to the democratic electoral system during all elections including municipal, provincial, and federal election campaigns, and at the voting polls. This is important. Organizers of all candidates' meetings, election campaign activities, and election polls are legally responsible to provide accommodation for deaf, hard of hearing, deafened, and orally deaf people. It might be that the candidate themselves is deaf or hard of hearing, or perhaps they're volunteers in a campa campaign or a voter. Regardless, it is important to have access. We must take action to make sure campaigns, election activities, debates, meetings, and candidates are accessible for all citizens. Make sure you understand your rights to the democratic process and the electoral process. It is critical to self-advocate prior to going to the polls or prior to attending a debate. Check with organizers about accessibility, either ASL interpreting or captioning, before you attend Make that contact and ask the access questions. It's your choice to go vote, and your vote makes a difference. And it's important to know your rights.